All right, good morning. Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, I'm in the shop here looking over uh, this bike and I wanted to give you an update on the on the combo switch that I removed and put on a, uh, a dedicated start switch on this side and a dedicated kill switch on this side. Uh, the combo switch that comes with the bike, um, there was earlier, uh, KTM has since fixed this problem, but earlier when they first came out, if you accidentally hit the start button when I was running, it would throw an FI light code on your meter and you had to take it to the dealer to get reset. A little bit of a pain in the butt, but good news for KTM is they fixed that, I believe, and that's not happening anymore as long as you have like the latest and greatest upgrade. Uh, you'll have to talk to your dealer about that and find out uh, you know, when you can get your bike in there to, to double check that. Um, but again, this is what worked for me. I'm not suggesting that anybody modify their bike um, I'm just going to simply explain what I did and why I did it. Uh, the connector that was once on there is now gone. And there's a waterproof connector here now, this big gray one. It clicks together and can um, be submerged in water. It's waterproof. There's a rubber gasket right there, rubber orange gasket right there. Plus there's a, a membrane in here that when you click it together, it seals up pretty good. You could literally hold this under water and it's not going to, not gonna get corroded. Um, and you can see on the harness side, I, the two wires I marked with red are the stop, green is go. So the green ones get wired to the start side. You can see the little start engine thing there. And this one's simply just a kill switch. Um, and although this year they, the start, start combo um, connector looked pretty good, uh, it didn't look like it was, it kind of looked like those were plastic with a little uh, catch on it so they would click together. Um, it didn't seem to me to, to be all that waterproof. Um, we're going to run real quick over this Rockstar 450 here. Um, and you can see this connector right here with the zip tie on it. This guy, uh, that's kind of right behind the front number plate and that's where the start and stop on this get wired to and it's not waterproof and you can see the wires and a lot of guys actually at the racetrack with last couple of years are fighting issues with their bike not starting for all of a sudden and we would look behind the front number plate and sure enough there's a lot of corrosion and uh actually for the 23s that the connector looked way better i just chose to do this more because of convenience of all of my bikes that have electric start obviously i have a start on this side, stop on that side, there's no confusion anymore. And I just like the layout of having the kill switch on one side and the start on the other. So that's what I did. Um, that kit, which is right here, that's the part number for it. I got it on Amazon, 20 bucks. I think it came with like maybe four or six connectors. So you, you have a couple of extras or whatever. And again, I am not suggesting you do this. Disclaimer, this is for informational use only. Uh, I don't dare tell anybody to do something because, um, just because, there you go. But uh, so I'm gonna hit the start button real quick just to show you that it does work. Uh, and it's kind of cold in here, but well, hopefully this thing will start. I'll wake it up real quick. Hit the button again, I hopefully it starts. And it starts. And I'm gonna stop. So that's pretty much how that that works, just as good uh, as any other switches I've had. These start and stop switches are basically off a 250F or a 450 that have that separated. Um, and I just simply spliced into it, crimped the connections, put it together. Uh, and well, the first thing I did was disconnect the battery. Anytime you go to work on anything on this bike, pop off the seat, disconnect both terminals on the battery, not just the ground, not just the hot, both. Completely disconnect the battery. And uh, so far, so good. Of course, we'll update you as the it's cold here now and we're, the bikes are kind of getting put away, but I'll update everybody as I go along of other little things that may pop up with this, uh, this switch combination. But so far, so good. It's all zip tied pretty nice in here. You can see that it's it comes down this side with the map switch and into that snap connector on the right-hand side. There's a, this is would be the start on um, stop side this would be the start side because it goes over there and up to that one and you can get aftermarket ones too when the parts are limited or tuck a rocky book or see your dealer you know they'll they'll have something for you but uh this is what i did my choice 
my body, my choice, my bike, my choice. So hope everybody has a wonderful Christmas and uh, holiday season. Appreciate you all. Appreciate you all. God bless, man. See you.